So we just told you guys about the land we recently bought in the mountains, and to say we are excited about it is an understatement. We've been making trips over the last several months to do some minor work, but mainly just to explore and to get our lay of the land, so we can come up with a rough plan for it. On one of our trips, we decided to bring the UTV. We figured this would help us cover more ground with the kiddos. This old road, let's travel east to the open field. You guys hear that? Yeah. Nothing. All of the world stands still. There is nothing and no one that could be in our way. It's just me and it's you in this moment we can say. I see. Here we are, here we are now. Here we are, here we are. Headed for the deep, headed for the deep and wild. Gosh, I just want to go camping. Oh man, that would be so cool here. Oh my God, that's what we'll have to do whenever we have people come stay with us. We'll <laughs> I don't think anybody would want to stay in that actually. They might be a little scared. We'll give you a bear spray. Woo. Oh my gosh, I love it out here. I can't tell you how happy I am to be out here. Like, I want to cry right now. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I've been cooped up in uh, Airbnb for like the last two days. So, to now be out here, just in the middle of the mountains, just makes me so happy. It's pretty chilly, but oh gosh, it feels so nice. All right, so on this trip, we've just been trying to scope out potential building sites. And with that, it kind of all depends on a driveway. Because right now there is one building site that we really like, but the driveway is really long. So it would be very expensive to do gravel or pave or do any of that stuff. So Spencer's been going around just with the chainsaw and everything, trying to cut a path so we can see if anything else works. How's my hair? Beautiful. <laughs> So do you think you found a good potential driveway? Uh, it looks promising. I haven't gone all the way down it yet or anything, but... Would it still need some bulldozer work? Yeah, it, it needs some work, especially one particular area. I'm not sure if there's just a, a lot of erosion or what, because there's old roads at one point in time and where they try to kind of meet up, I'm not sure if it they just never met up or if it there's a lot of erosion at one point, but... Right. I think it's doable for with a dozer. Yeah, because the plan with all of this is to obviously carve our own path and then bring the tractor here and Spencer do as much work as he can with that. And, you know, just to do everything ourselves that we can and not have to hire out more than is necessary. So, yeah, if we didn't need a bulldozer, that would be amazing. But I also don't want you to fall down the side of a mountain on the tractor. So <laughs> if we have to do that, we have to do it. Yeah, I wish I could have my own dozer. Oh my God, <laughs> no. Unless we find a tree on this property that grows money, you're not getting a bulldozer. <laughs> you just gotta be the cutest thing in the entire world. My little arborist. <laughs> All right, you ready to show us what you've done? We definitely have an abundance of firewood. Come on, do it, do it, Mama. Come on. Check out all the bear claw marks. Come on, 
We, <laughs> we're 99% sure we found a driveway. So that's good. I'm really regretting right now not buying a toddler carrier. I was looking at them online and I couldn't justify buying one because of how expensive they are and how quickly the kids grow. I should have bought a toddler carrier. We're just carrying the kids all around the mountain. It's gonna keep us young. We got our own personal rucksacks. That'll kill us. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> Want some water? Yeah, we don't have any. Carrying the chainsaw on the little bow bear. I tell you what, though, we got a couple little mountaineers in the making. Oh my god. <laughs> Now for me, you guys, this, I mean, this is both of our dream, but just the whole aspect of mountain climbing is like literally a dream come true for me. Like Spencer knows, I have a huge interest in mountain climbing. I it's, hope this fills all those boxes. Yeah, like a huge interest in mountain climbing, backpacking, all that kind of stuff. Like it would be my dream to like go backpacking up a mountain and stay for like a week and then come back down. That sounds terrible. So you know what this means now, right? You have to grow a full-on beard. Oh my God. Spencer, you have to. Then my dream can be complete. I'm just gonna <laughs> never cut any body hair ever again. Oh my God. Um, okay. Uh, no. You can't have no. one without all the rest. No. See you tomorrow, Mountain. We got our own little Christmas tree farm here. He's cutting branches and some little trees. Electric chainsaw for the wind. <laughs> Have to make the driveway through this. There is a lot to cut. After carving a small trail for a potential road, it was time for us to leave. None of us would be back for a couple of months, and to say it looked different then is putting it mildly. Spencer had made a trip by himself to set up our camper. All right, so I made it to the property, and I gotta say, night one was pretty eventful. I haven't been back here since but a little bit before spring. And when I was here last, I mean, they were just starting to get little, uh, all the trees were starting to bud, but you could still see a lot and none of the grass had really started to grow yet. Fast forward to today, totally different environment. The grass is really overgrown. The trees are overgrown. It, like, I don't even recognize the place. <laughs> it's definitely very foresty. This morning, when I stepped out of the trailer, I went to come take a photo of the uh, camper and I make it a, maybe 10 feet away from the camper and there's a big old black bear right there down the uh, drive, maybe 50 feet from me. So, and of course I didn't have the camera, but I did have my cell phone, so I'll try to put that, pop that in. There's a bear right there. So far, it's a much different environment, <laughs> which uh, obviously we, we expected, but now seeing it with like everything starting to bloom, like I already knew I had a lot of work to do, like as far as like uh, clearing up some old, uh, old trails and whatnot, and just like making it more accessible. 
and uh, yeah, it's, I got a lot of work to do. And one other thing, when I was driving in, there's a, like a mountainside that you drive against and apparently a boulder had fallen down in part of the road and you can't see it because the grass is so overgrown. So I like whack it with the, the camper stabilizer. And it's just kind of dangling there. It's supposed to be more upright like that. I don't, I don't remember the other ones moving quite like this. I'm just riding along, thinking everything's good, and then just doosh. Like I thought I ran into something in the road. It, I mean, I wasn't going very fast, maybe a few mile an hour. But uh, yeah, so my stabilizer jack doesn't look too well. Hopefully it'll be okay, but yeah, I can confirm. They're not supposed to move like that. Up. Oh. What do we have here? Looks like fresh bear poop. Oh, this just looks like a different place, babe. It's crazy. We are so excited to have finally told you guys about our new piece of land, our property in the mountains. Yeah, it feels good to have that off our chest. <laughs> it's been something that we have been working towards and pursuing for like over a year now. Yeah, it feels like an eternity. Really. Yeah, it, it's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and I just, I remember thinking when other properties didn't work out just being so disappointed but oh my gosh i am so glad they didn't work out because this one is just like a dream mm -hmm. so that being said what are the plans for the property <laughs> you're looking at it right behind us so when we originally started building out this shipping container we did not have the land we were still looking for properties and it was just one of those things that obviously we didn't know if it was going to happen. Yeah, and also timing wasn't the best thing because markets were still hot like yeah. when we were just starting to look and it just felt like everything was way overpriced mm -hmm. and just like, I didn't think it was going to happen, but right. eventually things cooled off and <laughs> we found the right one. Everything worked out. Mm -hmm. So that being said, we knew that that is what we wanted, but we knew it might not happen. So we're like, okay, well, let's start building out our shipping container cabin with the hopes that we would eventually find the right property and that everything would work out. And honestly, I really felt in my gut, I think both of us did, that it would eventually work out. Yeah, me too. So that's why we kind of just took the risk and like did it. <laughs> yeah, full steam ahead, yeah. Yeah, we're like, this is gonna happen, let's just let's do it as though we already have the property you know yeah so fast forward we had been working on the cabin for a little while we had got the property and everything had worked out and you know now the cabin is here and the reason why we haven't brought it there yet is because that land is just raw like we have to go there and literally build a driveway we could not get this there right now if we wanted to yeah you have a lot of work to do Be impossible to get there. <laughs> the two reasons really is because, yeah, I mean, land 
it's it's just not possible right now. But right. also, we need an infrastructure. There's literally nothing out there. So yeah, there's no power. There's no water. There's yeah. nothing. And we wouldn't we didn't have anywhere to stay while getting it all up and running and going and everything. So this just made sense. Yep. So that being said, we needed something to stay in, and that's why we got the camper. Yep. The reason with the camper was not only to stay there, but also, yeah, we, we like to go around and do little mini road trips and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And Airbnbs, I don't know if it's just me, but they've gotten really expensive. What's up with y'all's cleaning fees? <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like it's insane. I know. With all the fees. Yep. I mean, you stay a place for a week and it's $1,500, $2,000 and yeah, it's, a little crazy so that added up very quickly going to and from the property and yeah it's just we're like it probably makes more sense to just buy a camper and we'll get multiple uses out of it not only right. to stay there but also other adventures it'll you know? definitely save us money over time yeah so all that being said that's why we got the camper or for those several reasons and the plan is to go there stay in the camper to take the tractor there and to work on the land and build a driveway. It's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's very exciting. I mean, it's literally a dream come true. And absolutely, if you would have told me like 10 years ago when we had first met that this would be happening, we both were like were working in restaurants. I would have thought you were crazy. Oh, you would have told me this two years ago. Yeah. I would have thought you were crazy. For sure. Life changes very quickly <laughs> so we're very excited to get out there and to get working and just to start seeing the transformation happen because it's gonna be a good one I can't wait to do some track work he's been itching to do it oh my goodness well you're gonna get your fill here soon <laughs> all right well you know how we have to end this all right you got a lot of work to do you're ready <laughs> Are you know. ready? I had no idea where she's going with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>